Yo, yo, what's up? This came out of 360. Coming back for another video on YouTube. And I got an unboxing to do. Um, let's see. For this unboxing, um, I reviewed a soundbar. Um, it was the, I believe it was the S N S Y six N or something like that. Um, and it was an LG soundbar. So, um, just like with the other soundbar, I start running into where it was giving me like an error message. And I don't know if that was, if it's not compatible or if it's like a Bluetooth thing, the Bluetooth 4.0. Um, it kept switching from optical to Bluetooth out of the blue. Uh, so I don't know if that was like a volume issue where it was taking too much voltage or if, the, if, if it was just because of the bass or if it was because of a signal from another, you know, somebody else is using like the same soundbar as me and they were switching it and it was like connected somehow. But um, I did rank, uh, look at some reviews on like Best Buy and some other reviews where they, where these particular customers had the same issue with the soundbar. And I had a cheaper version of the soundbar, which I did do a video on. Um, so, and then I went and got another soundbar. So, you know, I got pissed off and I went in and spent a little bit more money, got another soundbar, and then I ran into the same issue. So, um, and then mind you B, I have a, um, I have a LG, uh, C1 OLED. So I don't know if there's a, it's a compatibility thing. I would think that any soundbar will work on will work on the um the tvs it doesn't matter what brand you get they should work um it should uh work just fine um but when you pair like um when you pair like a lg it has like the simlink so the simlink reads the the compatible device and it syncs it to your tv so you don't have to like go through anything like pairing or anything like that so what i did was uh we're back on best buy's website i found something else that i like that it was actually on sale but it was basically a 400 dollars soundbar um so i ended up taking that soundbar back before it was wasn't returnable so i did return it to return the old soundbar that i that i had from my previous video to best buy today so but i ordered what i wanted last night um so this is going to be an unboxing for the x the s65 q so 400 watts, um, Dolby Audio, um, DTS, high res, and this is a sound bar, I believe, from either 2021 or 2022. I think it's, it's it came out in like May. I think they did, um, LG introduced some new sound bars and stuff like that from their lineup. Um, I'm not sure, but when I basically, um, it has Meridian technology in it. So, and it says that it was, it's compatible with, uh, 2021, um, TVs, LG TVs and 20 LG 2022s. Um, so the other sound bars that I had, they were from like 20, 2020, you know, um, so I don't know if there's a compatibility issue or something like that, but I am hoping that this particular soundbar does what I need it to do. Um, so um, 3.1 channel, immersive cinematic, 420 watt sound, AI sound pro, uh, design with the entertainment and uh, design with entertainment in mind. Um, and turn the box around with my knife on there. That's my kitchen knife. Meridian. I don't really like this, the, the subwoofer. 
because I have a similar sub with for Sims. Like LG always makes like the same subs. Um, the other one that I had, it was different. It was more box than anything. It was more flat. And then the sound bar that I had, it was more wider. So it was bigger. So this is a this is a smaller sound bar. Um, which doesn't really matter to me as long as I get like 420 watts of uh, sound. So that's not really a big deal. So, and the other sound bar that I got, it was $279. So this one is actually a $400 sound bar. So basically, um, it was on, it was at Best Buy for $199. So I ended up uh, taking the old sound bar back. And then I got like a $70, $70 went back to my credit card. Um, and I basically looked at this like a bonus. So I got like a $400 sound bar for $200, $199, and then the other one was $279. So I saved like, like 80 bucks, 70 bucks. And it went back to my, you know, actually to me, I actually won on this. So... And if I have any issues with it, of course, I'll um, figure it out. Um, I still got a warranty on it. I don't want to keep taking back sound bars because this is basically like my third sound bar. But this is my my fourth sound bar. So I took the cheaper ones back that was $119. And it was supposed to be regular like $279. And it was, to me, it was some garbage. They... You know, a lot of people start having issues with it. A lot of people didn't. So I don't know if that it was just bad sound bars or the connectivity issues or whatever the case. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but with this one, um, I'm hoping that I have some good luck. I'm hoping that I don't get an ear coat. Um, just like I said, this is supposed to be compatible with the 2021 models of LG TVs in 2022. So, um, and I did go online and I did look at some screenshots of uh, LG's advertisement and they did show an OLED. So they showed the OLED where it has the Alpha Gen 9 uh, processor in it and they showed the sound, this particular sound bar underneath it. So I'm assuming that this is going to be it right here. I'm crossing my fingers. So, but anyway, we're going to get to this unboxing. I'm going to be doing it one handed. I did have a YouTuber that watched my video and he basically said that, um, how does my filming was bad and look at my setup over here. I have a $4,000 computer over here with a camera and stuff like that. So, um, and the $4,000 computer, um, $1,500 monitor. <laughs> I, I can go on and brag about my, my computer setup and, you know, and headphones and, 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 and all of this good stuff. And, you know, and yeah, so yeah, look at that mics and, and all of that. That's, this is not all of my uh, computer stuff, by the way, buddy, if you watch this video. So um, I am going to be streaming a little bit better when I do my unboxing, but I do have a job. So, and I am getting my, um, my shirts and hats made for my YouTube, um, my YouTube streaming. So, um, it's going to be like custom t-shirts and stuff like that. And when I'm streaming, I will have, uh, all of my stuff on and, ready to stream i just been extremely like busy and stuff like that so um but anyway guy this is the best i can do i'm 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 doing this from my cell phone and i don't really care about you know who don't really like my video this is just unboxing i am a, um a content creator so uh to a degree uh, I mostly game and I'm going to start doing my like my streaming and stuff like that uh, games and um, uh, testing like uh, games and stuff like that frames per second uh, center benches um, so and doing more unboxings in the future and stuff like that and just like I said testing games and stuff like that uh, so that's 
to come and once I get all of my like logos and shirts and stuff like that for my streaming and stuff like that set up um, I'll be doing that stuff and I'll give my viewers a little bit better like video and stuff like that and all of my stuff will be set up so it'll be a little bit more professional so I have been in the process of doing like stuff for a couple of months years now maybe two three years and you know I had kids I have a job so I don't you know I don't have the time I'm, I'm more so like you know trying to handle my business and you know and taking care of myself and stuff like that so you know um, I'm trying to get to the point where I can start doing proper uh, videos and stuff like that, or unboxing and, you know, and gaming and stuff like that. But um, that is still to come. Um, on my previous videos, I did say this before, but that's, that's still to come. It's, it's coming. It's in the pipeline. So I just got to figure some stuff out as far as just like when am I, uh, when am I going to be able to slow down to do a lot of stuff that I want that's going to bring me like enjoyment so it's 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 a process you know um, I don't have the convenience of other youtubers that um the streaming and content creating and stuff like that I don't have that convenience you know what I'm saying some of these guys they do this for their job so they have that you know they only have a job where they just stream all day so I actually I'm I do physical work I have a regular job I don't sit on online and stream all day and talk about video games and unboxing and graphics cards and you know and got two and three million subscribers by the way if you like my video subscribe to my channel anyway so let's get to this unboxing because I am extremely tired and I got to get up at six o'clock in the morning and go to my job. So let's get this out of the way. Do this unboxing of the SN S65Q Meridian LG soundbar, 3.1 channel surround sound, 420 watts. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah, I commented to the guy that basically said on my channel like oh this is like bad filming and stuff like that i'm like dude like i don't have like you know i'm i don't have like a sony camera and all of that stuff to be doing that i'm gonna be streaming from my camera right there i'm gonna just get some other other stuff uh going and stuff like that when i have the time it's not really a money issue with me truthfully um but it's just getting all of that stuff in the works and being able to slow down to to do that kind of stuff so and maybe i'll i'll be able to to satisfy the guy that's watching my show they wanted to come in talking about bad filming and all of that i don't really care so <laughs> that was very entertaining what he sent me so that's just so some more some more people that just wants to be like negative and and you know down you and they ain't got nothing going on. You go do some more unboxing. And then the guy that, that basically made a comment, I don't know if he do content creating or whatever the case, but he ain't got them, he ain't got no subs. You know, me with my little measly 38 subs or whatever the case. And I hope that changes in the future. I really do. Um, I would love to to have, like, uh, some subscribers and, you know, people that enjoy my content and stuff like that. So, you know, I really hope that comes. Um, but, you know. It's all about what makes you happy, you know, even if I don't have like, you know, subscribers and stuff like that, you know, I do enjoy, I do enjoy uh, doing unboxings and, you know, showing, you know, people my, um, my videos so they can pick and choose and hopefully I can bring like, hopefully I can bring like, um, you know, some content for people that buy, buy products and kind of help them out, 
you know, to make the right purchases and, you know, and people that, you know, going forward that's going to enjoy, like, my game streaming and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't, you know, I, I really hope that. So I hope there's some enjoyment out of this. So, um, all right. So comes with optical drive, optical cable. Sorry. I'm tired. Um, instructions, how to mount it, a uh, little graph on how to mount the soundbar on your wall. Um, wireless soundbar, these are the simple instructions, simple manual. Check it out. LG. Um, template on how to mount your soundbar on the wall. Keep going, trying to make this quick. You got your power brick, your cable. You got your cord for your sub. Your sub or your power brick. I know it's two of these cables in there. Um, you got your your wall mount brackets. There are my brackets. Got your remote. Uh, I think it's only one. I think this is for my power brick because it, I got it out of the same box right here. Um, got your two AA batteries, cheap batteries, but they seem to last a long time. So they're not like horrible batteries. They're not like dollar store batteries, but they're like cheap batteries. But they do last for a long time. All right. Mm, of course, the brackets, wall brackets, I'll be using that because I got to hang my TV and I haven't had time to do that. And there is my wall bracket right over there by my chairs that I got to put in my kitchen. Um, all right, let's keep going. Should do scissors to cut this, but I'm just gonna do it with my knife. There we go. All right. And I do believe that this is the soundbar. So I'm gonna pull it straight out. Imagine me, I'm doing this one-handed. Excuse me, you guys, and everything just fell out. I had to pick it up. So, all right. So we're gonna keep going. Just got these little crates and stuff in here. I don't know. I believe it's taped. This is taped to the bottom. Flip it over. I can slide it out. Let me try to see. Can I slide it out? I'm gonna lay it down and slide it out. Yes. So this is the sub. I believe it's just like my other subs. Yes. And this is the cable. And it already comes pre-installed on it. So um, just like my other one. My other one is the same one. So there's nothing glorious about the sub. Um, I know it's probably an updated version of the subs. The uh, sound bar that I got. Um, in like 2017, 2018, um, but it looks the same. So I'm pretty sure it's probably like updated for us, like the components and stuff like that in it. So, all right. But my other sound bar, when I say when it's updated, so this is giving me 420 watts. So I believe that this sound bar is uh, actually 220 watts. And I believe the sound bar is 180 watts. And I know they have like a, um, a RMS uh, rating on it. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not going to go over the specs, but I believe that I'm close to what I'm, I'm close to what I'm talking about is correct. I could be wrong. 
but anyway. This is like so funny right here. Alright, let me see, can I pull this out? go pretty nice um but just like i said there's, there's nothing special about this i have it upside down there's nothing special about this the only difference is is that how much wattage you're going to get out of these they look just like my other um my other sub this looks just like my other sub so there's no really no difference as far as just like the look and so, like I said, it's what the what's on the inside. That's what's the biggest, the biggest thing. So, um, because my other sub, my other sound bar is about three hundred watts. So I know that that sub is only putting out a certain amount of wattage. So, um, so yeah, this is a little bit more powerful than my three hundred watts, a, a tad bit. All right. So let's move on. This sub, there's nothing special. LG are, are pretty well much makes a lot of these subs for the kind of you know mid um, mid uh, premium middle premium uh, sound bars. If I'm saying that right, uh, so a lot of them pretty well much look the same. So it's nothing really you know special about them but i can say like the other soundbar that i that i had it actually looks a lot better than this um i would say that it was more it was like flat and it was a little bit wider so um but not really a big deal it's you know this just like i said this is uh this is something for my bedroom for you know hanging my tv so it doesn't have to be like anything special it's a sub so it's not going to bother me like that looking at it from my other one. So, big deal. All right, let's continue. Just down. And this is the Samar. This is Iridian. Oh. Oh. This is the biggest thing that I have been waiting on to get my hands on. I've only saw pictures of this online. And Ooh. this is funky, guys. This is very nice. Oh my god, this is like the best packaging ever. Oh my god. Wow, that is very impressive. All right, I'm gonna flip this over so you guys can see this. This is the most premium that I've ever seen LG package their stuff. Wow, that is impressive from my other soundbar that I had. That was $279, regular $400 also too. But this, when I went and got the other one that was $279, I ended up spending a little bit more because I got irritated with the problems with the Bluetooth and it like switching and stuff like that. But with this one, um, this one was a little bit more, but just like I said, they, they dropped the sale on it. And then when I went on Best Buy, because I stay, I love electronics. So I stay on Best Buy looking for like the best deals and stuff like that to buy stuff, you know, because I'm a techie. Um, but yeah, um, I have never ran into a soundbar where they have like the writing. I know it's not like a big deal. 
Uh, it has the Energy Star on there, uh, HDMI, DTS, Dolby Audio, Bluetooth. Um, and then you got this. <laughs> this is like not really too much of a big deal. I'm going to flip this around. But I've never seen a sound bar where it has like the paper on it. And maybe I'm going like a little bit too far with that. But this is the paper is like on here, like, you know, and then you got the Meridian logo right here with Meridian. This is a fabric cover. Um, I know my other one was like, it was like plastic at the top and then it had like the grill, the metal grill in the front, but this is like all fabric. Um, it is gonna be like, if you purchase this, this is gonna be like a dust collector. Um, if that doesn't bother you. But um, how to clean these, I would assume, would be to take like a can of air and um, maybe like a towel or something like that and lightly like uh, rub it and clean it and stuff like that. that I, I'm assuming that's how you would take care of this as far as just dust. Um, but I think like taking like a can of air maybe it depends on how much dust you have in your apartment or house or something like that and then just blow it off and just keep keep it clean just spray it like you know like every week and a half or something like that and like you know keep like the dust off of it and stuff like that so um then it's got the lg logo right there meridian take this paper off but uh Wireless soundbar 3.1, high res audio, DTS. Um, got the rating, Echo product. This is energy efficient. Um, take this tape off. And just like I said, I am gonna mount this. Uh, once I hang my uh, LG OLED, I'm gonna mount this. And then I have like an entertainment center that I'm I gotta figure out, I have the entertainment center with me right now. It's all put together. I just gotta hang all of this stuff and find the time to do it. Um, I do have kids. So, you know, just like I said, between a job and trying to, um, my sub, show the sub and the sound bar together. Um, you know, that's life, you know. Finding the time to do stuff when you're working and you're trying to take care of yourself and you got kids and stuff like that. So um, hopefully I'll try to get a lot of this stuff done, um, possibly um, if not Saturday. Today is uh, July, July 14th, uh, 2022. Hopefully Saturday uh, or Sunday, I'll try to see if I could try to hang my bracket. Um, I got to measure everything, make sure it's centered in my room before I hang the bracket, hang the inter entertainers, entertainment center, excuse me, entertainment center, and then figure out what I'm going to do with this. Um, more than likely, I'm going to hang it on the wall um, right underneath. Uh, it's going to go right underneath the uh, TV, and then my entertainment center is going to be for like my PS5 and my Switch and you know, it's the RGB uh, Entertainment Center, um, so it look nice. I put the RGB um, strips on my TV, so uh, once I'm done with it, uh, everything is pretty well much going to look nice, and it's going to, you know, satisfy me. So, um, all right, this is the unboxing for the LG, I mean, Focus guy make sure you can see that this is like bad production this is like some low budget production on king mountain 360 lol laughing my ass off okay um so soundbar this has been the unboxing for the lg soundbar with meridian uh the s65q 3.1 channel surround sound with 420 watts of power high-res audio dts HDMI connection and it does it is um, it does have optical connection and I believe before I get off show you guys the ports on it um, 
two HDMI connections, USB. You can put your um, like some music on your uh, on a USB drive and um, basically play it through the soundbar. So um, yes. So and then let's go over here. You got your you got your optical connection and then you got your you got your power connection. And there's it's kind of dark in here. I'm trying to kind of put some light on it. Turn some light on. Uh, optical connection, your power connection, you got your reset buttons. I'm assuming that's a reset button. I gotta read the manual. Uh, DC connection, optical in, um, HDMI arc, HDMI in, and then the USB logo. And then that's pretty well much it. Um, this has been King Mana 360. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this again. This is Meridian Soundbar. S65Q. Uh, I'm gonna sit up in here and basically put this together real quick, install it on my TV, see how it sounds. But this has been the unboxing for the S65Q soundbar from LG. Peace. You guys have a good night.